This is code.org, computer science discoveries or CS discoveries. We're working on unit two, which is web development, lesson four, which is focused on headings, and then we're on part seven, headings in HTML. Let's see what we have here. Headings and paragraphs. Almost all pages that you create will have headings and paragraphs. That, yes, that makes sense. Headings. Headings are different size section titles throughout a web page. Headings add structure to your web page by breaking it up so it's easier for a user to read. Making headings. There are six different heading tags, h1, h2, h3, h4, h5, and h6. The most common type of heading is h1. To use it, you put the text you want to display inside, to display inside between, inside or between, the opening tag h1 and the closing tag slash h1. And we've already done this in the previous um, few levels. The code for a heading will look like this, h1 my heading slash h1. And one of the reasons h1 is the most commonly used headings um, is that it would always be used at the top of a page, right? So any web page has a title. Usually you would want a title of something to be the biggest. So h1 is common for uh, it's common for that purpose. Size of headings. There are different sized headings which are marked by the number next to the h in the heading tag. They go from h1 to h6. Example h1 shoulders, h2 knees, notice they always have to have a closing tag, h3 toes. Shouldn't it be head, shoulders, knees, and toes? Hmm. Oh, but they wrote headings? Is that a joke? I kind of like this. Anyways, uh, h1 shoulders is the largest, h2 knees would then be the second largest, and then toes. That makes sense. Paragraphs. Paragraphs group together sets of sentences and put some space between that group and the of the text and the next group of text. Right, so paragraph is just going to separate out our text that leaves a little space above and below the paragraph. Making paragraphs. Paragraphs are marked by opening p and closing slash p tags. To create, to create more than one paragraph, you will want multiple sets of opening and closing p or paragraph tags. For example, p, this is a paragraph, slash p, B, this is another paragraph. So again, that's going to be creating two paragraphs. If you want more info or you're just curious, these are links to W3 Schools. W3 Schools is the single best resource for information on HTML, honestly on CSS, on JavaScript, on a ton of things. I use it myself. So that's an excellent place to look if you're looking, well, if you're seeking more information. Let's keep going onward.